Hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of VR Linux, where we take a look at games and applications that you can run on Linux. Today we'll be having a quick look at XR Desktop. Now this application is a little tricky to capture, so I'll be just showing the left eye. Now XR Desktop lets you use GNOME or KDE in VR. Unlike other VR desktops and other operating systems, this is not just a flat pancake desktop in VR. Each window can be moved, resized, and layered within VR. So you can layer them on top of each other and move them around within the VR environment. XR Desktop is still in early development. It is one of the many great projects that uh, Calibra are working on. Hey guys, I'm just getting set up into the new office. I've got everything moved that I needed to move from the house to the office. I've got my workstation, the computer. That... Now from my short time using XR Desktop, um, a few things become apparent. It's really hard to read anything without either resizing them to a very absurd size or bringing them very close to your face. Now I should note that I am visually impaired, however I think even a fully sighted person will struggle with this. I don't think VR is very well suited to traditional desktop environments and GUIs. I think what we need for VR is 10 foot user interfaces. Um, if you don't know what a 10 foot user interface is, it's um, user interfaces that are designed to be used from a distance. So many user interfaces intended to be used from your couch are 10 foot user interfaces. For example, Kodi and Steam Big Picture Mode. Having said that, I'm using this on a regular HTC Vive. Um, the experience could be better on a Valve Index or Vive Pro. Uh, I don't have one of these to test it to try, so I cannot say for sure. Anyway, that is all for today. I'll keep track of this project and um, let you know if there's any significant updates to it. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.